Hello everybody. I am in the process of doing a little maintenance today with my brushes. I've been uh, putting some, um, I guess, moisturizing my brushes today. Some of them conditioning them. Some of them were getting a little stiff, so I did that. And then I started doing this, and I thought maybe this would be helpful for folks to see, especially if you're new. If you've been painting a while and you, and you use these thinner buckets, you know how to do this. But uh, some of you guys may get some useful information out of this, or you, you may think I'm crazy. So one of those things, or one of those things, probably happened. Maybe two or three of them. Who knows? So I've got two buckets here, and you can probably see from the camera they are nasty, 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 nasty. I've already got the uh, screen out of this one. So here's the screen. That's probably way, way nastier than I would like to keep my thinner buckets. So I need to replace this, uh, the bag. I need to clean my screens and get some fresh thinner back in there. So to show you how to do that and um, we'll see what happens here. But I like to wear these gloves. Uh, thinner is not good for you. Don't use it as a moisturizer for your skin. Uh, it's not good to let it soak into your skin. It's not good to breathe. Uh, if I was cleaning brushes, I actually have, and I can show you here. People probably think I stockpiled these for the pandemic, but I've always had these. This is my old one. Uh, I actually, when I'm cleaning brushes from classes and things, I use a respirator. Um, and it just, it, it makes me feel a little safer. And I'm also out in my garage right now. So I'm not inside the house where the dogs and Karen are. Or where we, you know, we live. So it's kind of out here in the garage. Big open space. And if I need to, I can even open the garage doors. Um, but I'm not going to be beating brushes today. I'm just going to clean these thinner buckets for you guys. So we'll do that. And let's see. Just get in there and grab that screen. Pull it out. And put it on something. Because it's nasty. We'll need to wipe those off before we put them back. Um, so you got really nasty thinner. You're like, oh, what do I do with that? Well, we're going to reuse that. So I've got my jug here that I would use, or that the thinner came out of. I'll just open this up. Should have had that open. And I have a handy dandy tool somewhere. If I can find it. Should have had that out. Here's somewhere, I bet. There it is. You may recognize this. A real cheap tool. Nothing fancy. It's a turkey baster. Or just a baster, I guess. Um, but all I'm going to do is use that. And I just kind of tilt the bucket up. And I'm going to grab the liquid. I don't want to get the sludge. And I'm going to put the liquid back into my jug here. And that's the first couple steps that you need to do. You need to have a good, good jug that's got a good lid on it that you can store. So this had the thinner in it. So this is a good one to... To reuse. I've also used orange juice jugs, milk. Uh, milk jugs are a little too flimsy, honestly. Something a little heavier is usually better. So there's step one, or step, you know, 18 if I've already gone through a lot of things, I guess. But um, I'll do that and then I'll come back and show you the next step just in a second. All right, so you can see uh, if we look at the <clears throat> buckets now I stopped and got all that out for the most part there's a little bit of uh, liquidy residue in there but look how much paint is in there look at all that paint goodness I mean it's just gummed up in there and you know you can see how much it's probably way more than I would normally have in my buckets uh, I mean nasty nasty stuff right so what I do with this, I'm going to take this out, take my glove off, put my glove back on, start handling this stuff again. Again, be careful with the thinner. You don't have to be concerned about it. Use it in a well-ventilated area. And you're, take some precautions, though. Don't just do willy-nilly stuff with it. So and these are just normal Ziploc gallon bags. Now you'll notice one thing here. Oh, this one didn't really bust reverse too much look there's still some liquid dripping out of it so what I do with these is I'll put them over here and this will actually go to recycling center as well not just uh, spent thinner but this is paint you don't want to just put this in the in the garbage and and let this stuff seep into the ground in the in the water so you really need to take it to a recycling center and uh, properly dispose of it so I'll put it over here for now I've got a little bucket over here I'll show you that so I'll just kind of put it there 
There's one. I'll grab this one out of here. Again, if you take care of this, this is really essential to taking care of your brushes. If you take care of your brushes, they'll take care of you. So, oh, that one's not even leaking yet. But look at all that paint. It's just old sludge. You got an old canvas, maybe you just grab something out of there and start painting with it. I don't know that I would, but yuck. All right. So now we got fairly clean buckets. And what I always do is just take a paper towel or something. And wipe those out. Just dry them out a little bit. That one didn't really break the bag. Usually you'll get one, you know, the thinner will eat through that plastic. The, the gallon, these are gallon sized bags I'm using. Brand preference is up to you. Hefty, Ziploc, it don't matter. Just dry them out. Now we got two nice clean buckets. Now we've got to focus on getting a couple more paper towels here. I want to get some of this off of our screens. So what I can do here, get my buckets out of the way so they don't... Just wipe them off with paper towels the best way. Now you can put these back in thinner and kind of clean them really well. I'm not worried about a little bit of residue on these. I just kind of get the majority of the chunky stuff that's still left on the screens off and then I put them back in. Uh, you can get a degreaser. Uh, awesome is a good product to use. You can get it at like the dollar stores, probably Walmart. And that will really clean these things up to where they're brand new again. So if you ever get one that really gets gummed up, just get you some of that, soak it in it for a while, and it will just the paint will just come off. But really, that is clean enough for me for this for this time. Uh, I'll do those awesome soaks about every six months after the paint really gets too much. We just want to make sure that your 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 screen is always staying smooth and that nice coating is still on there because it will eat your brushes up over time if you don't. So clean up my little mess there. Throw that away. Now I'm not going to do both buckets again while you guys are or while I'm doing the video. But I am going to do both buckets, but I'm going to focus on getting one done just so you can kind of see what happens here. Again, it's nothing magical, and you probably know how to do this, but if you're new. This would have helped me when I was new. So, I just take a bag, and I've already got the little seal broken off of it. One of those little slider seals. Pull it over again. Easy, easy to do. The bag usually will tear on you. I pull it down. Put that in there. Okay. And then we plop it back down. No, don't plop it upside down. Put that in there, push down on it so it's down in there good. Alright. I've got a brand new bucket of thinner down here. I guess it's a jug or a container, whatever you want to call it. I'm pull this plastic off. Pop the lid on this baby. Maybe. Pull off the tab. I don't know why I need to tell you guys that. And then carefully, and I always keep a rag or something because sometimes it'll spill back on, on you. Fill that puppy up. And you want that thinner to be about, uh, about a half inch above the screen. Will work. You don't want too much. I may have got a little too much, but I can always take it back out with the turkey baster. And throw that away. So we've got that. That's why I keep a rag handy here. I have a little spill every now and then. So just an old, old desktop we put out here. Over two filing cabinets. And it works really good because it's a great space for me to come and clean and do things. So now you can see it's a, it's already a little dirty from the residue on the screen. Now I could have cleaned that screen really well and had no residue. But that is clean thinner. So when you clean your brushes next time, and the reason I always have two going is I have one that's going to be dirtier than the other. So this was a really dirty one on this side that you saw had the most paint in it. I will clean the brushes one time in the dirtiest bucket, even if it's still stirred up and milky and, you know, I just painted two hours ago. I'll clean it in that. I'll get the thinner out of that uh, by using the, um, the beater rack in a trash can. Carefully, you don't need to beat it to death. Uh, that won't, That's not good for the longevity of the brushes either. And then I'll go to this super clean um super 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 clean 
uh, bucket and I'll, I've got a brush here it's got some problems with it so I'll just show you but what I do for this bucket once I've, I've really scrubbed it in this one is I will just take this one and just kind of push it on the screen I don't even like wipe it against the screen and what happens is you'll see all kinds of paint residue still coming out of there even if the brush looks clean and if you're not cleaning more than four or five six brushes you can keep this thinner really really super clean and it will work a long time for you uh, you shouldn't have to clean uh, your buckets too often unless you're painting like every day and you're, and you're cleaning brushes all the time. So that's what I do to take care of my brushes. That's one of the biggest steps and it's also economical because you're trying to save money on thinner. I have, I'll show you, take my gloves off, I don't need those any longer. For right now at least. I have some thinner in a Snapple bottle. <laughs> That's still good, it looks dark, but it's, it's clean. Um, the paint has settled. We've got an orange juice container. You can see the paint down here. Sorry, probably can't see that on the screen. Um, you can see the paint settled and the thinner is back to a liquid state here. And you can reuse this over and over and over until it starts really looking really nasty. I don't recycle it. So I use, try to use it. A long time because that stuff can get expensive especially if you use the really good brands of paint thinner so that's what I do for bucket maintenance I guess and for for the care of my brushes so um, I'll put this up and let you guys see if this was helpful or not if little things like this are helpful let me know uh, and I'll do some more videos about you know besides just painting but as far as taking care of things and, and the different types of stuff you can use and all that good stuff. Take care everybody, stay well.